You're so bitter. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Today, I thought, in the spirit of love and all that, I'm gonna be doing my makeup like my ex's current girlfriend. I know it's gonna be very, very different because we look very different. So I'm gonna try my best. So I've already put on a wig that I have not worn in six months. The thing is, I get quality wigs, but the goal is for it to look real matted and all like frizzled up. And if it smells like an old woman's pantyhose drawer, you're on it. Now for the skin, I have not lotioned. The goal is for your skin to be real, real rough, leathery, lizardish, and orange. Basically you wanna look like a persimmon. Like if you took a bite of her face, it would come off and it would taste like coca. So I have not lotioned because I wanna get that textural feel. That's not orange enough, there we go. I'm gonna go right into my color corrector. Basically use this as foundation because she don't know how to color correct. I mean, it's for very specific spots, but she just goes all in, like her entire face is a giant discoloration. At first I didn't realize it was a foundation issue. I, at first I thought it was something wrong with his camera. Cause like every time they take pictures together, she the only one in sepia. It looks like he's taking pictures with a B-reel of Gone with the Wind. And he got mad at me cause I was like, yeah, she got a real classic look. He calling me childish and I'm like, what am I supposed to do? You dump me for a kumquat. Now she does tend to put foundation on top of it, but not enough to cover it, so. She don't know the cardinal rule to blend, so I'ma leave it there. Then I'ma go with a concealer under my eye that's like way too light. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This, is, yep. Mm-hmm. Like basically you wanna look like treated leather. Now she has a lot of surface area on her forehead and for some reason she still likes to accentuate that, so. Just put a pride rainbow right in the middle. You really want that area to jump out. Cause basically when they walk around, they be looking like pinky in the brain. There's that. I look like I have a lot on my mind. Use brushes that are like really inadequate for the jobs that you're doing as well. <sighs> okay, so. This brings us to the part that is really, really hard for me to handle and that's you know what that's the thing that gets me because he know how i feel about eyebrows dog he know how i feel about eyebrows she got helga eyebrows and do you know how bad that hurt do you know how bad he's just like undermining everything i believe in i can't even do it bro You want them to meet in the middle. Ugh. And you want it to look like two caterpillars coitusing on the middle of your forehead. With whatever's left, you go on that five o'clock shadow she got going on. You think I didn't notice that that girl got a goatee like Iverson. Like I'm just, I'm getting more mad the more I do this because it's just so obvious that he's like undermining me in every possible way. But beyond that, I'm starting to look like her. And you know the thing that got me about the eyebrows though, the thing that really got me is cause when we first met, he was like, yo, I really, really, I'm really into artsy girls. How was I supposed to know that meant that he wanted to smash Frida? I look like Groucho Marx. I look like, I look like every Disney villain. I look like Jafar and Scar. I'm a good person. I guess after this, I'm gonna powder. The goal is for it to be as dry and cakey as possible. If it looks like you can blow off her skin particles like dandelion. Good job. Looking mad ashy, looking like a crepe. Pick the muddiest colors you have and put it on both eyes. Now that I think about it, I don't know why she puts it on both eyes because she can't open both eyes all the way anyway. She looks like Popeye. I know you're gonna be like, Kendall, don't you have to blend? No. Now, when you do your eyeliner, make sure it's just a glop on the lower lash. But beyond that, also make sure it does not go in the same direction as the first one. Yep. There it is. You know you've done enough when it actually floats into the ether. 
When it comes to blush, of course, use one that in no way goes with anything that you've done so far. Now we're gonna put on lashes. Make sure they're not too close to your lash line. Ideally, if they're somewhere halfway to a quarter into your actual lid space is ideal because you want them to look like they're extending onto a new plane of life as if they've essentially reached Narnia and we're just here on the human plane. They've transcended the lash line and you can see their afterlife as a shadow under it. I mean, just because I say she looked like a kumquat doesn't mean that she's not deep. Now we're gonna line our lips, overline of course, like right when you think you're about to hit your chin. Uh. Then use a very pale and unflattering nude for your skin tone. I know your first impulse will be to blend the lip liner into the color, don't. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hopefully you'll like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You know the funniest part is that somebody's watching this video right now and they had no idea it's a complete joke. So happy Valentine's Day, you. You did good, kid.